Alright, here we are in Minecraft Snapshot 13, week 4A. And for anyone who likes TNT, Dinnerbone has answered our prayers for the dispenser. Now, places lit TNT. Which of course means a lot, not only for just blowing stuff up, but for cannons. Simple as normal cannon can be, but instead of placing all your TNT each time, dispense a row, dispense a shot, bam. And of course, if you just set the time on the charge with the, the repeaters and add a long timer, we can have a machine gun. Unfortunately, the machine gun's a little slow because you have to wait for the charges of TNT before you can fire again. So this has to be very long time. Now. But there's a faster way. As I showed last week, you can make a cannon using minecarts, and it fires very quickly. So, setting I set up a short clock, connect did three dispensers to place the TNT cards, and now, great thing here, dispensers can point down, so I can place three TNT cards all at once, fed, of course, from these large chests and hoppers, because, you know, if it's going to be a machine gun, we're going to only have nine shots if we just have a dispenser. This way, I believe the total is 68 carts per dispenser, so 68 shots. If you total up the chest, the hopper, and the dispenser. Then, in the front, we have a dispenser with TNT in it. It's important to note that if you have more TNT in here than you have in there, it's going to keep going from the timer once you run out, and it's going to cause explosions up here. This Piece of this water source here I added because I, as you can see from this large crater, I blew this thing up a million times because it would run out of carts but not out of TNT and everything blew up. But this way it's perfectly safe. Zero chance of blowing anything up. So we have redstone coming out of the timer. And I, I only I added that as a diode just so I could I could do a single shot with a button without activating the timer. If you watch, boom. So yeah, this this com comparator isn't necessary unless you want to do single shots from up here. Anyway, so this branches around so we can activate all three dispensers at once. No need to use any powered rails like previous version because you don't actually need to hold the carts up here. Since they all dispense at once, everything works out anyway. Uh, you don't you don't need an activator rail. They hit the end and just explode. Um, interesting note here, you can put a slab here, which is how I, I had been doing everything in the previous model, and it shoots like that, but if you don't put the slab there, you can actually get a really frame rate really bad for you can see that. Okay, really long range shots like that. 
but they're super low. I kind of prefer it with the slab. But of course, as promised, what you want to see here is as a machine gun. So switch on the clock and just let it roll. I don't think you could actually make a faster machine gun, maybe slightly faster if you did make these powered rails and keep them powered all the time, just because the minecarts would move faster and you could turn down the clock a little. I haven't really tried that, but the only way to get any faster than this would just be to have two of them next to each other. That's, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a walkthrough of construction, I will do a construction walkthrough if I can get 20 likes. So there's your incentive. Hit the thumbs up button. If I get 20, I'll do a build walkthrough. Oh. A lot of force in this thing. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. See ya.